history of transport. The history of transport is largely one of technological innovation. Advances in technology have allowed people to travel farther, explore more territory, and expand their influence over larger and larger areas. Even in ancient times, new tools such as foot coverings, skis, and snowshoes lengthened the distances that could be traveled. As new inventions and discoveries were applied to transport problems, travel time decreased while the ability to move more and larger loads increased. Innovation continues as transport researchers are working to find new ways to reduce costs and increase transport efficiency. Road The first earth tracks were created by humans carrying goods and often followed trails. Tracks would be naturally created at points of high traffic density. As animals were domesticated, horses, oxen and donkeys became an element in track creation. With the growth of trade, tracks were often flattened or widened to accommodate animal traffic. Later, the travis, a frame used to drag loads, was developed. In the Industrial Revolution, John L. Dot McAdam, 1756-1836, designed the first modern highways, using inexpensive paving material of soil and stone aggregate, and he embanked roads a few feet higher than the surrounding terrain to cause water to drain away from the surface. The modern history of road transport also involves the development of new vehicles such as new models of horse-drawn vehicles, bicycles, motor cars, motor trucks and electric vehicles. Rail The history of rail transportation dates back nearly 500 years, and includes systems with man or horse power and rails of wood. This was usually for moving coal from the mine down to a river, from where it could continue by boat, with a fanged wheel running on a rail. The use of cast iron plates as rails began in the 1760s, and was followed by systems where the flange was part of the rail. However, with the introduction of rolled wrought iron rails, these became obsolete. Modern rail transport systems first appeared in England in the 1820s. These systems, which made use of the steam locomotive, were the first practical form of mechanized land transport, and they remained the primary form of mechanized land transport for the next 100 years. The history of rail transport also includes the history of rapid transit and arguably monorail history. Water In the Stone Ages primitive boats developed to permit navigation of rivers and for fishing in rivers and off the coast. It has been argued that boats suitable for a significant sea crossing were necessary for people to reach Australia an estimated 40,000 to 45,000 years ago. With the development of civilization, vessels evolved for expansion and generally grew in size for trade and war. Meanwhile, specialized craft were developed for river and canal transport. Canals were developed in Mesopotamia circa 4000 BC. The Indus Valley Civilization in Pakistan and North India, from circa 2600 BC, had the first canal irrigation system in the world. The longest canal of ancient times was the Grand Canal of China, 1794 kilometers long. In the Industrial Revolution, the first steamboats and later diesel-powered ships were developed. Eventually submarines were developed mainly for military purposes for people's general benefit. Air Humanity's desire to fly likely dates to the first time man observed birds, an observation illustrated in the legendary stories of Daedalus and Icarus in Greek mythology, and the Vimanas in Indian mythology. Much of the focus of early research was on imitating birds, but through trial and error, balloons, airships, gliders and eventually powered aircraft and other types of flying machines were invented. Kites were the first form of man-made flying object. During the 17th and 18th century, when scientists began analyzing the Earth's atmosphere, gases such as hydrogen were discovered which in turn led to the invention of hydrogen balloons. Tethered balloons filled with hot air were used in the first half of the 19th century and saw considerable action in several mid-century wars, most notably the American Civil War, where balloons provided observation during the Siege of Petersburg. 
The earliest clearly verifiable human flight took place in Paris in 1783, when Jean-François Pilote de Rosier and François Laurent d'Alans went 5 miles 8.0 kilometers, in a hot air balloon invented by the Montgolfier brothers. The Wright brothers made the first sustained, controlled and powered heavier-than-air flight on December 17, 1903, in their evolutionary aircraft, the Wright Flyer. World War II saw a drastic increase in the pace of aircraft development and production. All countries involved in the war stepped up development and production of aircraft and flight-based weapon delivery systems, such as the first long-range bomber. After the war ended, commercial aviation grew rapidly, using mostly ex-military aircraft to transport people and cargo. The first commercial jet airliner to fly was the British de Havilland Comet. This marked the beginning of the jet age, a period of relatively cheap and fast international travel. In the beginning of the 21st century, subsonic military aviation focused on eliminating the pilot in favor of remotely operated vehicles. Several unmanned aerial vehicles have been developed. In April 2001 the unmanned aircraft Global Hawk flew from Edwards AFB in the US to Australia non-stop and unrelieved. This is the longest point-to-point -point flight ever undertaken by an unmanned aircraft, and took 23 hours and 23 minutes. Space The realistic dream of spaceflight dated back to Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. The first human spaceflight was achieved with the Soviet space program's Vostok 1 mission in 1961. The lead architects behind the mission were Sergei Korolev and Kerim Kerimov, with Yuri Gagarin being the first astronaut. Kerimov later went on to launch the first space docks in 1967 and the first space stations from 1971 to 1991. The first space flight to the moon was achieved with NASA's Apollo 11 mission in 1969, with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin being the first astronauts on the moon. 